Hey guys, controversy is now brewing over this dress that Kim Kardashian wore at the Met Gala a couple of days ago. There's a designer out in South Africa and he said that's his design. But Kim Kardashian did not give him the credit. She gave the different designer, an American designer, the credit. So is it her fault or the American designer who designed this particular dress for her, all beaded. And I'm wondering if it's Kim's fault because everyone is blaming her. But I don't know the circumstances in which the dress was made. If she went to the designer here in America and said, okay, make me this dress. This is how I want it with beads draping in the front. Then I can say, okay, she stole the idea from this designer in South Africa. However, if the designer reached out to her and said, we've got a perfect dress for you. I envision you in this uh, beaded dress for the Met Gala. Then I can say, okay, it's the designer's fault. So it all depends on who did the reaching out. But in any event, this designer out in South Africa was posting. And apparently he wanted everyone to know that it was his design. His name is Gert Johan Kutzi. And we see him here with one of his designs. The model is wearing the beaded bottom and a full top, but apparently it's his signature look. Now, this is the dress that Kim Kardashian wore 2023 gala, the Met Gala that was just held. And in the above picture, we see one of his models with a similar dress to what Kim Kardashian had on, and he came up with this design way before she wore it. And the whole concept of the design of the dress itself, he thought of years ago. And we know it was years ago because Cardi B wore a similar dress. She had this designer make it for her at Offset's 29th birthday party. Now we see Cardi B in the brown dress, all beaded in the front, that this designer made for her two years ago because two years ago Offset was 29 now he's 31. So again I have to ask the question is it the designer's fault or the uh, the person who is wearing the dress fault Kim Kardashian did she know that this Johan was the original designer mm -hmm. and to maybe give him credit now Kim's outfit is being compared to her 2007 Playboy shoot when she wore all those pearls. But but I guess what you're saying, she wore pearls on tops at the Met and the 2007 Playboy shoot, she wore pearls on top. But what about the bottom? The bottom is the thing that's in question of which designer thought of it. So the designer, once again, is Gert Johan Kutzi. And he's a designer out in South Africa. Lizzo had worn a similar outfit of his, which she got from him. And she gave him credit for it. She did not say it was an American designer. I think a lot of designers think that because it's a different continent, nobody's going to know if they may be steal an idea and not give the designer credit because the worlds are so far apart, two different continents. But the internet has made the world a smaller place. If anything gets posted in America, South Africans, everybody in Africa sees it. So the Evening Standard Insider posted this post. And it reads, Kim Kardashian wears 50,000 pearls for her 2023 Met Gala look by Shia Pirelli. Given no credit to... Gert Johan Kutzi. But here are some other looks by Gert Johan Kutzi. And these looks are keeping with the same beading in the front. I guess every designer have a signature look. Something that identifies that designer. And the beading in the front draping, the way it draped on Kim's dress, that's Kutzi's signature look. And to tell you the truth, sometimes designers don't steal ideas. They just happen to think about the same thing that a person have thought of years ago. 
because I remember when I was looking at that Tyra Banks fashion show and she had told one of the models, do your research because your idea may just be someone else's idea. You may think that you have just thought about it, but that idea is out already. That I thought about years before you can even think it. So maybe in this case, it was just uh, an oversight by the American designer, Shia Pirelli. And perhaps maybe an apology is warranted in this case. YouTubers, drop your comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also share the video if you want to drop a few dollars in the super thanks to support the channel i would greatly appreciate it i'm over and out i'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching